have to listen to me. I'm Andros, your brother. Your own flesh and blood. No! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 female Power Rangers villains. A flying sword, that's real original. Can you do this? Who are you, Mira? Mira Tricks. Take this! For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest female villains to ever grace the show's long history. What is your favorite season of Power Rangers? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Queen Banshira. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Queen Banshira, you're here. We have been preparing for your arrival. Excellent. But where is my magnificent palace? This intimidating monarch serves as the big bad of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and Banshira does deliver when it comes to power. You really think you can stop me from restoring my palace? My tidal wave will wash your city away. Compared to some other main villains, Banshira doesn't get a lot of screen time as she spends the majority of the series trying to regain her physical form. So the queen is more of a looming threat than a constantly active one. My bodily form is finally returning to me! Banshira is absolutely irredeemable, a selfish and egotistical ruler who even turns some of her most loyal subordinates against her. I should have done this long ago. Better you than me, sorry. While not the most complex character, Banshira makes for an entertaining adversary. Let the ceremony begin. Forces of evil, heed my call. Gather now as darkness falls. Number nine. Dayu, Power Rangers Samurai and Power Rangers Super Samurai. Samurai has plenty of issues, but it does benefit from a couple of memorable villains. Who are you? Nice tune. Along with having a pretty cool design and a solid voice actress, Dayu comes with a genuinely sympathetic backstory. Please. <coughs> Someone hear my call. Originally a human called Dalia, Dayu was born out of a desperate situation fueled by love, making her a tragic character. Simply trade your humanity for an eternity in the netherworld. As an opponent to the Samurai Rangers, and especially Mia the Pink Ranger, Dayu proves to be a worthy threat. I don't need your pity. Even if she typically finds herself playing second fiddle to other villains, Dayu's link to Decker makes her a highlight of Samurai and its sequel season. Win or lose, I shall be free. I hope that's true. You should have been free centuries ago. Number eight, Nadira, Power Rangers Time Force. Call for an ambulance! Power Rangers has an inconsistent track record when it comes to comedy-oriented secondary villains, but there have been a few great ones over the years. You'll be the ones needing the ambulance. The immature Nadira, daughter of Time Force's fantastic main villain Rancic, is one of them. Oh, Daddy! <gasps> I need a new dress. This one got filthy from lying on the street. Anything you want, my dear. While seldom presenting much of a danger, Nadira does manage to be funny and endearing, with her dream date with the Blue Time Force Ranger being a highlight. Listen, there's something I need to tell you. Yes, Dreamboat? Nadira even goes through a bit of growth towards the end of the series, reflecting Time Force's willingness to embrace a more mature tone. Why, Daddy? Why do we hate humans so much? Number seven, Toxica, Power Rangers Wild Force. We shall resurrect our fallen generals and reform the mightiest army of evil ever. As Wild Force's resident grower of monsters, or orgs in this season's case, Toxica is an indispensable presence for large chunks of the season. Evil spirits of toil and strife, give this fallen org new life! Far from a pushover, Toxica can hold her own against most opponents. While a solid antagonist, Toxica shines brightest whenever Jindrax comes into the picture. And these two have one of the most satisfying friendships in the series. We have to learn the truth about Master Vorg. Oh, I can see the truth. He's our boss, and if we don't do what he says, he's gonna destroy us. Whoa. Don't be so blind. Along with Jindrax, Toxica goes through an effective character arc that involves brainwashing, death, and a face turn. I finally found a good use for you! Toxica is not a static villain, and her development throughout the season is well realized. Number six, Elsa, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Dr. Oliver, I'm Principal Randall. Oh, it's nice to meet you. 
A master of disguise in the loosest terms, Elsa masquerades as Principal Randall at the same school that the Rangers attend, including Tommy of Mighty Morphin fame. What are you looking at? Huh? Dino Thunder plays the long game with Elsa, allowing the character to make full use of the dramatic and comedic potential of her dual identity. A human who was forcibly turned to the dark side by Mezagog. Let this be a lesson. I do not take defeat lightly. Elsa plays the part of an arrogant henchwoman with all the confidence of a seasoned veteran. Are you aware that kids who play an instrument have a 50% higher chance of getting into college? Well, you're hardly college material now, are you, Miss Ford? One-liners, a devilish smirk, and a cool sword combine to create an entertaining villain. <laughs> Number 5. Pink Psycho Ranger and Yellow Psycho Ranger, Power Rangers in Space, and Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. The Psycho Rangers are among the greatest villains that the franchise has ever seen. We're faster than you, smarter than you, stronger than you. Designed by Astronema to be the perfect counters for the Rangers, the Psychos strategically and viciously dissected the heroes as they pushed them to their limits. <laughs> Now, I know everything about your powers! Like the rest of the group, the yellow and pink psychos are not devised to have much in the way of personalities, but they both contribute greatly to this team's impact. Let me introduce you to my psycho arrows! <laughs> out of all the psychos, the pink variant stands out for being particularly bloodthirsty and vile, something that Lost Galaxy's Kendricks learns firsthand. <laughs> Number 4, Tanaya 7 and Tanaya 15, Power Rangers RPM. Let's send out the grinders! I'll deal with this one by myself. RPM is perhaps the most ambitious season of Power Rangers, and that is reflected by one of its main villains. You're human, Tanaya. Newsflash! I am Generation 7 robotic technology. While somewhat derivative of Astronema, Tanaya's interesting story arc is just one of the elements that makes this character special. You want one of us? You have to go through all of us! Gladly. More than anything, Tanaya comes across as a genuine threat, someone who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Rangers in close quarters combat. <laughs> Known for whistling a spine-tingling tune and occasionally throwing out an arm, Tanaya is brilliant as a recurring villain who pushes the rangers to their limits, but is also a sympathetic character with a heartbreaking backstory. Correct. I am Tanaya 15, attack bot. No. You're Tanaya, my sister. Don't let Venjax- <laughs> Number 3, Trakina, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Scorpius's daughter and successor would eventually surpass her warlord father. I'm so sorry. It is me who is sorry. I should have never tried to keep you so sheltered. Pampered her entire life, Trakina set out to prove herself, a journey that exposed the character's depth while enhancing her capabilities as a villain. Once Trakina took her place as Lost Galaxy's main antagonist, any traces of Scorpius's spoiled girl had been utterly exorcised. Fight or be destroyed! I refuse! A forced fusion with Deviat would create Trakina's most heartless version, an evil tyrant who had the power and drive to actualize her villainous declarations. Nothing can stop me this time. Nothing! Unfortunately for Terra Venture, Trakina was also pretty successful in her evil escapades. Number 2, Rita Repulsa, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, and Power Rangers Zeo. <laughs> Don't leave! You'll miss my coming out party! That's when I destroy the nearest planet! <laughs> the ultimate classic Power Rangers villain, Rita Repulsa, represents the franchise at the peak of its campy glory. Now my buddies, prepare to get those teenagers! <laughs> Although somewhat of a perpetual failure, Rita did get the occasional win over the Rangers, even if she eventually had to accept a subordinate role to Lord Zed. Sleep well, Zed, or I shall have my revenge upon you and the rest of the world! <laughs> 
despite her spotty track record, Rita is an absolute treasure, a character who chews the scenery in the best possible way. Now I say grow! Rita's look, voice, wand, and catchphrases are all deeply ingrained into the franchise's legacy, and the Space Witch was the perfect foil for the Mighty Morphin era. Soon the Command Center shall cease to exist, and the ZL Crystal shall be! <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Camille, Power Rangers Jungle Fury, because she combines well with Dai Shi and Jarrod. I need to borrow something from you. Your power! Good chance of that! <laughs> Madam Odious, Power Rangers Ninja Steel, because she made the jump from assistant to main antagonist look easy. So long, Red! Foxtron Swarm! <laughs> Roxy Clone, Power Rangers Beast Morphers, because it's always fun to see an evil version of a potential ranger. Roxy? What? What's happening? You said you want us to be together. We will be. Once I infect you with Evox's virus. Diva Tox, Power Rangers Turbo, because the toxic diva is a classic villain. You mark my words. My God, the Power Rangers will pay for this one day. I never accept defeat! Morgana slash Mora, Power Rangers SPD, because this villain was fun, if slightly underused. But then you're also going to have to reconquer all the other galaxies and planets you've already defeated. Because since it's 2004, none of that's happened yet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Astronomer, Power Rangers in Space Attack Earth! Before becoming Lost Galaxy's Pink Power Ranger, Corone was Astronomer, the Queen of Darkness. Destroy them all! When it comes to tragic Power Rangers villains, Astronoma stands nearly unmatched. What are you talking about? You're Corone, my sister. Andros's long-lost sister, she fell into the hands of Dark Spectre and Ecliptor. The Red Ranger, my brother? What a fool he takes me for! Obviously a cruel trick. And he'll pay dearly for it, I promise you. Astronoma presented a more menacing but also a more human threat than most of her villainous predecessors, particularly Rita and Divatox. You've got to listen to me! I'm Andros, your brother! Your own flesh and blood! No! <laughs> Throughout In Space, Astronoma seems to be in a constant state of change, be it shifts to the light or dark sides. So, the Power Rangers have met my Psycho Rangers. Did you get their energies? Yes! Finally, Astronoma also created the Psycho Rangers, a contribution that cannot be dismissed. You'll finish them when I decide. Oh yeah? And when will that be? <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.